You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. So the last episode we found out the significance of Irushi Hara's last name, that his uh, dad or his parents both—I don't know—it's probably his dad owns like a major tech conglomerate. Very, I'm guessing, very similar to Windows. So his dad might possibly be Bill Gates or what is it? How, how do Dr. Steve Brule say Bill Gates and? Uh, Bill Greats of, Mike, of Microsoft. <laughs> anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy my for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. <clears throat> All right, alarm chain, you're up. All right, let's go. I guess I worry that you're just avoiding us to be away from Shuichi. Keisuke lets go of my hand. His fingers start tapping at the table in front of him. Well, that is not untrue. And whenever I'm with you guys, I always worry that I'm going to ruin your fun. I mean, the few times we all went out together during spring break, I could tell how annoyed you and Mizuguchi-san were when he and I argued. I guess I guess I was afraid I was being a burden. Wow, I didn't expect him to be so honest with me. Don't, don't be. I won't lie. You two do get on my nerves every so often, but even so, it's nice having you around. You're a good guy. We aren't going to forget that just because you and Shuichi are fighting. My words seemed to strike him deeply as his eyes opened wide. Th thank you, Shuichi-san. Th that actually means a lot to me. Kaken urged me to wait outside while he paid. It's gotten pretty dark while we were inside. It's actually a little cold. There, I've already paid. Wow, some of the stores are closing up already. What time is it? He fishes his phone out of his pocket. Almost 9 p.m. We were in there for a while, huh? Time flies when you're having fun. Couldn't have said it better myself. By the way, how are you getting home? I'm gonna call my driver to pick me up. Wanna ride? Nah, I know, you know, blah, blah. Nah, you know I live nearby. I can just walk. Fair enough. Thank you again for coming here with me. You have no idea how happy you've made me today. It was fun for me too, so there's no problem there. I can actually believe you when you say that. Anyway, you should probably get going now. I'm gonna call the car to come pick me up. It's fine. I'll wait with you until the car gets here. Don't be stupid. It's super late already. Just go home. Your family's probably waiting for you. But will you be alright waiting here alone? I'll be waiting inside the store until they arrive. I do have a bit of common sense, you know. I'm not gonna wait outside in the dark streets. Alright, fair enough. Have a good night. You too, Yuichi-san. Be safe and see you tomorrow. See ya! See ya! April 7th. Aw oh, man, I love that day transition screen. So good! So good, I got this feeling. Ah, the bell. I was having such a nice dream, too, though I can't remember it anymore. <laughs> I can barely even keep my eyes open right now. Hey! Junikun walks up to me, his lunchbox in hand, giving me an energetic greeting. Ah, seeing him so full of energy is so refreshing. Although that's probably because I myself have none of that moment. I have none of that at the moment. Care if we eat together? He asks this exact same question every single day even though the answer is always the same. <laughs> During the first two days or so, I found it pretty annoying, but now it's a bit funny. I guess he's a creature of habit, aren't we all? Good morning. Now it's Shuichi's turn to show up. After we studied together for so long, it feels so weird not having him around this year, or at least it did for the first two days of class. Then he started showing up here all the time, and now it just feels like nothing's changed. Good morning, Shuichi-san. Shuichi's reaction to being called San continues to be as amusing as ever. Shuichi certainly is a weird person. He treats everyone with extreme deference and politeness, but the minute he becomes just slightly friendly with them, he completely drops all that. And what's more mind-boggling is that he expects them to do the same, without ever telling them. But then again, I guess it's in his nature to be too, con to be con too considerate of other people to ever complain about it. If I asked, he'd probably just say it'd be too petty to complain about something that small. Well, it's at least good to see that even after being placed in another class, Shuichi is still Shuichi. Good morning, Junkun. Still, it was scary to see how easily those two hit it off. Normally, normally you'd be awkward around people you've only just met, but Shuichi quickly eased Junkun into our little group. As a result, whenever Jun wasn't hanging around with me, he was clinging to Shuichi. Also, Saya's greeting is the complete opposite of Shuichi's, loud and full of energy. That's Saya, all right. She doesn't seem to show any sign of being affected by the Spartan training that's been happening in this past week. I wish I could say that, that's also refreshing, but it just pisses me off. It 
something in my eye since this morning. Please, get out of my eye, whatever you are. <sighs> Osu! Shuichi initiates her greeting, eliciting a laugh from the bunny. Oh, Mizuguchi-san, good morning. Sai gives June a nod with a, of her head to acknowledge his greeting and proceeds to pull up a chair to my desk. Ooh, excuse me. By the way, uh, Yuichi-kun, how are you holding up? Think you'll last through today's practice? Ugh! Actually, I was wondering that myself. You sound like you were about to kick the bucket when we went through, when we went home yesterday. Well, my legs feel like they're on fire, but I'll live. How many sets have you played this past week? Fifty? Ninety-five. Saya cuts in before I even have time to answer. Whoa, seriously? That's like four full set matches a day. I feel tired just thinking about it. Which is ironic, given that you overwork your teammates on a regular basis. I don't really think so. I've been doing the same, and it's been pretty easy. Saya's crazy assertion shocks Shuichi so much that he chokes on a piece of meat, nearly knocking now no, nearly knocking down June's foot as he hits the table. Yeah, but you're a demon when it comes to stamina. Well, she is a rabbit. What? How rude! If she held the other club members to her own standards, we would all have died a long time ago. Saya crosses her arms, pouting. For some reason, probably the exhaustion affecting my judgment, I find this to be absolutely hilarious. Ow, ow, it hurts when I laugh! Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure you're going to be okay? Don't worry about him, Kobayashi-kun. He deserves it. Hey, are you seriously saying I deserve to be in pain because I laughed? Give me a break! That's a little harsh, even from you. Not to worry, though. I'm completely fine now. That's a lie. By the way, what's the score so far? I feel like someone just threw a bucket of cold water over me. 95 to 0. Shuichi chokes once again. Jun wasn't caught by surprise this time, immediately picking up his food and holding it away from the desk. I guess he's starting to get used to us, huh? You haven't won a single set? Sheesh, talk about a bad running. You guys are going to kill me like this. Well, at least you're not com commenting on this topic. I already feel a bit better because of that. The boys have it rough, though. Both Kaito, I mean, Morisaki-san and Sasaki-san are ranked over number 130 on the WTF. Shuichi whistles in admiration. That's impressive. Since he made his professional debut two years ago, I thought he was still around the 700 ranks. I thought they were just regular college students. Well, I don't blame Jude for not understanding since he doesn't know the first thing about tennis. I'm sure in any other sport, if you sold, if you said someone was ranked number 300, no one would probably think much of it. But considering how many athletes are registered in the WTF, that's kind of impressive. They are, they are going through college, yes, but they're on a sports program with one of the top training centers in the world. It's not even comparable to the stuff we have here in Japan. Saya is starting to get pretty excited. She's usually a big fan of anything related to tennis, so it isn't much of a surprise. You've been there once, haven't you? Ah, now that he mentioned, I think I remember something like that. Oh god. Almost as if she were waiting for someone to ask her that question, Saya immediately props herself up on the table with a giant smile on her face. She nearly knocked June's food down, but once again, he managed to get it out of the way just in time. Although his face tells me he isn't exactly happy about the constant attack on his food. Yeah, I went over to the US last year to visit Kaito. What was it like over there? No, Junkan, don't go there. Once she starts talking, you can't get her to shut up. Oh, it was pretty confusing. Everything was in English, and I kept getting lost. But their equipment was top class, and every athlete had a personal instructor. It was so awesome. Ah, I knew it. Shuichi tries to say something, but gets cut off by Saya immediately. And then they had over 60 courts, each and every one of them equipped with different... <laughs> they fucking grab her off the table. Shuichi reaches for Saya's shoulder, holding her tightly and pushing her back into her seat without much resistance. I love that. I love the dynamic between these characters. She simply goes along with it, having learned not to resist Shuichi when he gets a little more forceful like this. After all, he's much stronger than any of us here, so there's really no point. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds like it was terrific, but can you please settle down? We're trying to have a conversation here, not a monologue. Spoil sport. Yeah, yeah, how dare I. I'm such a horrible person, the usual spiel, right? He's completely unaffected by it. Well, the training center does sound pretty good, though. Why don't you apply to go why don't you apply there too, Yuichi? If Morisaki Senpai improved that much in just two years, think of what it could potentially do for you. Wouldn't work. I'd only be allowed to use the center if I were a student at the at their university. Plus, it's one of the most highly sought-after tennis programs in the U.S. Getting in would be insanely difficult unless I studied like crazy in addition to being high-ranked in the National Juniors rank. Chuichi crosses his arms, looking annoyed. And that would be a problem because... I'm sorry, why? It'd be a waste of time. I already know I'm going to be... I'm going pro, so what would be the point of wasting my time going to college? If I have that much free time, I might as well use it for tennis. 
Uchi shifts in his seat, looking away from me. It's easy to see what's going on in his mind right now, only partly because of this argument has been happening a lot over the past year. He can't accept my decision and thinks that I'm being reckless by refusing to go to college in case my career as a pro doesn't pan out. But at the same time, he's far too considerate to just say it outright. You're an open book, Shuichi. It hasn't hurt to have a fallback plan in case you... I don't need one. I plan to devote all my time to tennis as soon as I finish school. Shouldn't you be looking to do the same? I'm quite aware that I'm being childish. Shuichi agreed to meet me halfway, but I just don't want to compromise. His expression darkened for only just a moment. It came and went so fast that you'd miss it if you blinked. But regardless, it was there. He's not as good at masking his emotions as he thinks he is. He sighs, probably in an attempt to recompose himself. I already told you I'm not going pro, remember? Though he tries to say it as calmly as he can, his voice comes out in a monotone. That alone is enough to tell me I'm stepping close to dangerous territory. It's not like this is the first time I've talked about this. I've already tried to convince him many times, and yet he always shot me down without even giving me a chance. My mind keeps telling me that if it has nothing to do with me, I'm not. My mind keeps telling me that it has nothing to do with me. I'm not the one who has to take, who has to make that choice, and I should just let it go. But before I know it, my frustration and annoyance well up so much that I can't keep my mouth shut. It's just so frustrating to see someone with this much skill completely giving up on something they're good at. Sure, I guess. Without his entire exchange, June's expression ranged from confused to uncomfortable. It's easy to see how this effect, how this has an effect on him, considering he has no idea what's going on. Sai, on the other hand, did as, did as she always does. She acted as if nothing was happening so she could steer away from the drama. Sly bunny. Hmm. Many minutes after the two have already left, June still looked uncomfortable after our earlier argument. The mood was so ruined at our table that Shuichi and Sai just quietly finished their meals and left without another word. Come to think of it, since June only recently met us, he's never seen Shuichi and I argue before. Sorry, June. I should have been more mindful of you. You alright, Junkun? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just a little lost. Do you... do you guys argue like that a lot? No, not a lot. But sometimes, no friendship is perfect. You can't get through life without a few rough patches here and there. But the only reason Shuichi and I get like that at times is because we really care about each other. I... I see. Damn it, is his mood gonna be tanked for the rest of the day? Jesus, what have we done? Bear, still eating, okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, and speaking of good RPGs, there's this really old one that I really liked as a kid. I was wrong. Not five minutes after that tense conversation of ours, June's mood has been completely uplifted. I guess I should be relieved about. I guess I should be relieved about. And I should probably thank Kumagawa for walking in on our conversation when he heard me awkwardly trying to make conversation about games, but... I really thought that she would get killed, but the hero showed up at the last second and saved her. It was so cool. It really subverted the trope of... <laughs> Actually, if you can't get enough affection points, it's possible to get an alternate ending where she dies. All you have to do is... <laughs> they won't shut up about it! Oh, and during the final boss fight, you could... Send help! Ah! Once again, the bell the bell brings me back to reality. Oh, one second. Jeez, I'm having a really hard time keeping myself awake. Hey! Once more, I'm greeted energetically by June. I appreciate his enthusiasm, but don't his batteries ever run out? Ah, oh, whatever. It's too hot right now. I'll just get hotter if I keep worrying too much. Yuichi-san, would you mind if I tag along today, too? Huh? I, I don't particularly mind, but why today? Those guys you've been playing against, them, against leave today, so don't they? I just thought I might get to watch your revenge. Ah, is that so? Crap, why do I suddenly feel even more pressure? As expected, it's also unbearably hot in here. Why is it so hot today? We're in the middle of spring! Please don't let this be on an indicative of how summer is going to go. Nope, don't think such thoughts. They only make things hotter. Ha, <laughs> Yuichi! I was starting to think you'd be late. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to have made you wait, Senpai. Are you prepared for the qualifiers tomorrow? Mursaki senpai's expression immediately turned, turned bitter. I guess. I'm still a bit annoyed that I haven't managed to beat Kenma in a single practice match so far. I've already noticed that Sasaki sound is crazy good. How did you two even meet anyway? Hmm? We go to the same college. Isn't it normal that we'd know each other? Although, once Kenma graduates at the end of this year, I'm going to be pretty lonely. Sasaki san is a senior? Yeah, he's the oldest Japanese player in the program. Not that, that much of a surprise, though, since, he's only th since there's only three of us there to begin with. Kenma used to be the number one player in Japan during his time, you know. He's a pretty big deal, even in our program. Really? How many players do you guys have over at your training center? Hmm, we have 60 or so guys, I think. 
Kim is the highest ranked of them all, can you believe it? Wow, I had no idea Sasaki-san was doing so well. I guess it should come as no surprise that he's such a strong opponent. What about you, Senpai? How do you fare in the program? <laughs> Me? <clears throat> I'm doing okay, I guess. What's your internal rank, then? Man, you're not gonna let this go, huh? I'm number 37. Huh. Real far cry from Sasaki-san, then. I wonder, what's someone like Sasaki-san doing still competing in challenger events? What about your WTF ranks? You sh I should probably have looked into it, but with so much going on recently, I forgot to. I'm number 316. Not too shabby, huh? His smile is very smug. Yeah, you're doing pretty good for yourself, considering how you've only been at it for two years. What about Sasaki-san? Kenma, he's number 180. A whistle in admiration. Looks like he's cut from a different cloth entirely. <laughs> he's only been at it for, long, for, at it for longer. I can totally beat him. I just need more experience. Is that so? Well, in that case, I can hardly wait to see what you're going to do when you get more of this magical skill gap closing experience that you're going on about. K Kenma! Mikado-san sent me here to fetch you since we're about to begin practice, but I suppose you'd rather stay here and boast to your former underclassman. Ah, Kenma, wait a second! <laughs> I have deja vu bells ringing all over my head watching these two interact. Yuichi-kun! Could you get started with your preparations? The boys won't be able to stay with us for the entire day like they have for the past few days, so you only get one match against each of them. Yes, sir! I guess I should start warming up then. I turn, I turn around to talk to June, who's been silently watching me since we first walked into the building. Well, except for when I was getting changed. During that time, he was awkwardly looking away with his face beat red. Are you sure you're okay with me just leaving you here? It can't be that interesting to just watch our practice without doing anything. Don't worry about it. I have fun watching. Well, I guess I'll just do as he says then. Alright, if you say so. I'm gonna get started on my warm-up, but feel free to come talk to me until my match starts. Sure! Alright, we're gonna get started on our first match of the day. Oh, okay, what's that? That's a coach. Alright, we're gonna get started on our first match of the day. Morisaki versus Michimaya. Now, Yuichi-kun, do try to win at least once, will you? Shut up, I'm already trying to. Stupid crocodile sticking his stupid nose where it's not needed. Morisaki-senpai smiles at me, giving me an okay signal. Just like in our first match, he's asked me to take the first serve. I'm afraid of getting it so easily broken like last time, but I want to test myself. I can feel like I've made substantial progress since our first match. I want to believe that I can at least keep my serve, if not outright win a set. Alright, it's time to get rid of all that sleepiness and laziness that I've been feeling all day. Now is the time when I need to focus the most. I toss my ball into the air and hit it with as much power as I can. As the ball leaves my racket, I can already tell it's going to be a good serve. Unlike in our first match, where he easily reached most of my serves, this time Senpai barely reaches the ball in time to hit it back, returning a weak slice right back. I say weak, but in reality, the, there aren't many players in my age class who could return such a ball to such a tight spot. The way it is right now, even I have the advantage. I can't, even if I have the advantage, I can't just clinch the point like I usually do. I have to be very careful of the placement for my shots. Make a mistake in my shot selection, he'll pounce on it like a predator. I settle for a shallow cross court, hitting at an acute angle. Usually a fast angle shot would almost certainly score the point, at least where the junior level is concerned, but Morisaki Senpai's defensive range is so ridiculous that he'll surely reach. He manages to turn the ball at the last second. He then immediately starts running towards the net. It seems I'll have to drive him out there by force. No matter, I was already expecting this development anyway. Instead of relying on some delicate control I don't have, I, have to, I, just, decide to, I just decide to spike the ball with everything I have to the other side of the court. While my methods may be crude, I manage to drive the ball past him, scoring a point. 15-0. Aha! The look on his face tells me he tells me he's frustrated. Well, of course he'd be. For someone looking to play serve and, to play serve and volley, not being allowed to get to, to the net is one of the most annoying things possible. Even if he's leveled up in all parameters, as long as I don't allow him to surprise me, he shouldn't be able to just walk all over me. I can put up a fight. This time I attack with a slower, albeit much more spin-oriented serve. The sudden change in rotation catches him by surprise, forcing an error. 30-0. Yes! I put my fist in the air. All those endless hours of practice are paying off. I've somehow managed to level up my skills during this week of a hellish training. And yet Morisaki-senpai doesn't look all too worried about it. Either he has the world's greatest poker face, or he doesn't think I could have caught up to him in these five days. I'll show him! As soon as the play starts again, I will make sure to pin him down with my serve. His baseline game has certainly improved. It's come to a point where he can even hold me, a dedicated baseline or back. 
Still, that's not that's still that's nothing more than just difference in experience. To begin with, there's never been any fundamental difference in the way the two of us hit our ground strokes. He just knows how to use them better. In that case, instead of trying to corner him with my strokes, I'll just keep him from using those legs of his. When I finally allowed myself to properly watch him, I realized that Senpai's strokes were still fairly crude. While his volleys were incredibly delicate and controlled, he wasn't all that confident in his ground strokes. That's when I realized Senpai's true strength. Okay, I, okay, I, I guess that uh, Telegram's mute function is just fucking broken, so I guess I'm just going to have to do it through Windows. He had a footwork like no other, capable of reaching balls most players would deem unreachable. If you add to that his incredible stamina, Senpai's incredibly aggressive net play was also boosted by his sudden addition of a highly defensive baseline play. Due to that, he could just leisurely stay back both looking for an opportunity to attack. There were no traces of his gung-ho aggressive play left in him. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Since this is just starting, because there's ample time to get through it in the next video. So I've got kind of a tight schedule today. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!